a good game. How do, how do you feel? How do you feel about it? I feel good. I feel good for Everything making a good. dub. Uh, how, how was your first game for the Black Stars? As you can see, it was a good game. There was no pressure. I stick to what the coaches said and then everything went well for me. Alright, what do you have to tell your fans? A lot of fans are already speaking about you. What do you have to tell them back home? I'm praying, like they should keep on praying and, and supporting me. Oh, we see me around. That was... That was a free banya you saw in that uh, video where they're talking to Joy Sports and the chance that were going for him at the stadium after his debut, his first start, not his debut, but his first start for the Ghana Black Stars. And the chance for Antoine Semenyo when he's playing for his club side Bristol City is what you saw in the video that followed that. But it was a great day, a good day uh, for Ghana Black Stars. Yes, uh, there are some saying it's just a friendly it's just switzerland maybe they were not playing up to their best they don't get carried away the black stars the goals they scored were lucky i would tell those saying that please don't be a party pooper please just be happy that the team got this win and they played well not just about getting the goals uh, there was an improvement in play however obviously uh, there's always room for improvement and we'll be looking at the player ratings uh, today i'll give you my thoughts on the game and then the player ratings for each of the players that took part in this game as usual subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates we're still voting sahara football as the best sports channel on youtube let us get that vote in uh, the first comment pinned here I asked uh, you guys who was your best player throughout and uh, not many people had the same answers. It just goes to show how good each and every one was today for this win. I have to say the goalkeeping department was a huge concern for me. D uh, despite having a few jittery uh, first few minutes in the first half especially, uh, Lawrence Atizigi was able to compose himself at the back yes uh, he still has some niggling issues here and there uh, but today he was much improved um, it was a great game you know and i have to say Antoine Semenyo just proves that he is probably the one uh, to be leading our line i always feel that Iñaki plays best with a partner and that partner has to be Antoine Semenyo. All in all, the two goals were great. Mohamed Salis, who has shown a knack uh, for getting into positions when at set pieces and getting uh, into positions to score a goal. And uh, it, it was a great day for him. He found the back of the net there, and uh, I have to say, deservedly uh, so. All in all, everyone did their part, followed the instructions, and Otoado and the rest of the team will be confident heading into the Portugal game next week let's get right into the player ratings and Lawrence Atizigi despite as I said a few niggles in the first half across that almost uh, led to a chance for Switzerland a miscommunication between him and I think Jordan Ayew later in the game he was much more improved um, the Swiss uh, rarely threatened and that was a testament to how Ghana played in terms of their personnel in defense Atizigi it was Good on the day uh, he still has to improve a bit I think with time he will get better Lawrence Atizigi will get a 6 out of 10 from me looking at the defense uh, Tariq Lamte obviously rightly so with his pace and his crossing was always a threat in the attacking third uh, defensively he was okay uh, despite the fact that uh, the Swiss did not offer much in that respect uh, Tariq Lamte handles himself well. Playing on the right flank with Daniel Lefrie Banier, they formed some understanding, uh, which uh, probably uh, would be uh, something we should uh, get used to. If Banier, uh, with this performance, gets a chance to start for Ghana, it will be well deserved. 
In center of defense, we had our two guys, Mohamed Salih, who no doubt is a mainstay in the central defense. Uh, Daniel Amate uh, had his moments, but his partnership with Salisu was quite solid. Amate was strong and pushed out some of the attacks of Switzerland rightly and was really good for me. He had his moments, jittery ones at that, uh, but all in all, a great performance by Mohamed Salisu and Daniel Amate in central defense. I think as Salisu uh, was a threat in attack as well. Uh, he got a few chances in the game uh, to score a goal across from Jordan Ayu from a set piece and he has shown that probably he can offer some threat up front from set pieces as well and he found the back of the net from one such one when he and Amate went forward and uh, the ball ricocheted and he was ready at hand uh, to find the back of the net with a header. A good goal for him opening his account for the Dana Black Stars as a player. Also, uh, Amate uh, probably uh, this could be the basis for that three back system. Today Otto went with the four back system and uh, it will be interesting to see who he starts versus Portugal. Should he start Amate, Jiku and Salisu together? What do you think Otto should do? Abdul Babaraman at left back gets a lot of stake, a lot of criticism for being uh, slow, lethargic and all that, not doing well. But you have to be honest with yourself. Most of the time when we criticize Abdul Babaraman, uh, we have to watch that he also does well at times. Today was such a time and his overlapping runs, he contributed to the defense as well. His crosses into the box were all good. Today was a good day for Abdul Paparaman. He gets a lot of stick as much as possible when he does do well. Uh, let's put the praises where the praises are due. Salis Abdul Samed and Elisha Owusu. I think you guys saw Elisha today and were impressed. Elisha and Salis tidied things up, uh, blocking uh, that attack at times uh, from Switzerland. And there was one moment in the first half from Elisha Owusu where he sort of dribbled his ball, the ball straight out of midfield. And uh, what a beautiful, beautiful way to get out of possession and counter uh, with that ball. It was a great way to outsmart the Swiss midfielder and it was uh, great to see. Elisha also have to say is one who could be also starting for Ghana. There are a lot of talents in the team and uh, without Thomas Party and Kudus Mohamed, uh, we have to be confident now that we have the best players in reserve for us on the bench. The bench is looking good. This was a game that Otoado used to test out uh, the players and others give them an opportunity. Dangerous to do that uh, a week before your very first game, but uh, the way things are, that's the only way he could have gotten things done. And he did that and it paid off and we're all happy uh, with how the results uh, turned out to be. Salis Abdul Samed was clever in possession. He was quite clever. He tidied things up nice. He kept it simple blocked the balls, found the passes, did what was expected of him. I enjoyed watching him play today. Up front uh, was Daniel Lefrie Banya and I have to say when I am wrong or when I don't get it right, I'll be the first to admit it. I was not a fan of Lefrie Banya going to the World Cup, had my reservations about him going into the World Cup but football has a funny way of making you look stupid and I have to say, Banya impressed me today and I'm sorry if you Banya if I ever doubted your abilities. And not that I did, but I just felt others were in better position. You grabbed the ball by the horn today and you proved to the world that you are ready to play for the Ghana Black Stars. Impressive performance, should have gotten a penalty in my opinion for that tackle. If there was VAR in this, uh, turn, in this game, he would have gotten it retrospectively. It was a great game for him, a great showing, getting all the fans and what he said in that interview and what Kudus Mohammed also said in that interview just goes to show Efri Ebanye had a good game. Jordan, are you? Yes, not everyone's favorite but today uh, Jordan did his job and has been doing his job for a while. Tidying things up, drawing fouls, set piece plays was good at times and Jordan is just doing the work he is supposed to do. He's not an out and out striker. He doesn't play in that position very often during the game you watched him, but he did the job and got the job done. His brother Andre Ayu as well, probably a bit uh, 
record as i said andre should be substituted early uh, not this time though i think he got tired and it wasn't the best of games heading into the latter stages for him but all in all uh, they all did their work inyaki williams up front and i have to say this is why i don't like inyaki up front alone especially inyaki does well with a partner and you could see that the times when he drifted out wide were the times when he saw we saw him or deem him to be more effective for the ghana blacks that's whipping in crosses imagine he had a partner who he had that understanding with it would have been great to see how they combine and inyaki going wide to provide some assist for his striking partner would have been best it was a great game all in all despite the fact that he struggled a tad bit uh, to get into the game for the substitute that came on the brightest spark getting the highest rating despite being on for just 28 minutes was antoine selon semenyo a great great player i keep saying it here and uh, i could wax lyrical about him and talk about him a lot but i saw the guy i saw his highlights i saw him play i spoke with him this guy is young but he is confident his confidence is in abilities and rightly so came on showed what he's made of that block he gave before finding the pass to Kamaldin Sulemana, who ran and uh, the, despite him not finding him uh, the ball ricocheted back to Antoine who was ready to find the shot he came on immediately and found the shot in the game uh, showing what he really meant to do against Nicaragua he did something similar probably the best uh, chance we had versus Nicaragua after the goal was from Antoine Semenyo. He's proving to be the one who should start along with Inyake Williams. I hope Otto gives him more playing time. The guy is the now and the future. Kamal Dane Suleiman also came on at times a bit uh, too... Uh, I don't know how to put Kamal Dane. He tends to be... Uh, wants to overdo at times not that he stays long on the ball but he has to raise his head at times especially for the goal that came the second one Kamaldin should have been aware of the surrounding his surroundings and seen Semenyo and laid off the pass to him but uh, he tends to put his head down at times his tackles a bit rash got a yellow card when he came on but all in all it was a great game for him as a substitute and he will contribute to the goal in a way daniel kofi tre some are calling him our very own iniesta kofi tre was hmm, i liked watching him play today he provided that corner kick that led to the first goal and all in all a great game as a substitute for him kofi tre is back from injury and he played full throttle today a great game for him kamal so also showed a bit of emphasis of his play great display from him he didn't have much time to show us what he was made of I didn't see much of him but it was great a great great game you know for everyone so those are my player ratings i think football is an odd game which doesn't follow logic switzerland are in the top 15 rankings in fifa and we were able to out them 2-0 mind you this wasn't ghana's first team but th but it looks like this is switzerland's first team that will be facing cameroon next week so we'll see how things go on that front we are likely to possibly face switzerland if they qualify out of their group and we finish first or second depending on how things are we are likely to face them so we've played all our opponents we could face in the round of 16 hope we've learned a thing or two am i a man of the match well that that would be difficult to choose but looking through all the performances i i liked a free i have to be honest a free impressed me a lot so that's who I'll pick for my man of the match. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Antoine Semenya would be my second coming on at such a short time and doing some amazing things. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.